Hi, I'm Sam, and on this video, I'm going to explain to you how to change the name servers of your domain to point to your hosting so you can get started with your website. Now, when you purchase a domain name, quite often the company that you purchase it with will try to upsell you their own hosting. So, GoDaddy or 123 Reg, etc., they'll say, hey, why don't you use our hosting? And then everything's pre configured so that you can basically create your website straight away. However, if you've got a separate hosting account like I have with an external company, then you need to basically tell that domain to point to to that server so you can get moving and to do that you can do it by either changing the name servers or manipulating the DNS. Now it can be confusing so I'd like you to point you to this blog post that I wrote earlier uh, now this explains everything about DNS name servers and all the technicalities. There are some differences like if you point the domain name to your server via name servers it means that any subdomains or any email addresses and a few other services have to be set up at your server's end. Whereas if you keep using the name servers that were specified via your registrar when you purchase the domain and then you point to your domain name via the DNS records and in any email addresses have to be set up at the registrar's end they might charge for email addresses um, subdomains have to be done there so th there are slight differences but the blog post will definitely explain but the reason you're here of course is to find out how to change the name servers on 123reg and it is dead easy okay this is how here we are on 123reg, so I'm just going to log into the control panel now so you can see what it looks like. Uh, so you'll have your list of domains here. If you purchase one, you'll just have the single one there. So I'm just going to choose a domain and then click Manage. Now, once you've done this, you'll come to your control panel for the domain. So the place that you need to go to is to manage the name servers. So if we scroll down, you'll see that there's the place to change the name servers here. So just click that. And you'll see here that it's actually using the name service of 123reg itself. So all you've got to do is simply just replace these and then this will be pointing to your server usually within a couple of hours. Now, your server provider should provide a minimum of two, but a maximum of four name servers. Ideally, they will provide four name servers for you, but you have to overwrite all of these settings and then click the update button. Now, the fact that this is using 123reg, three regs own name servers means that basically where the website is pointing is being determined by the DNS records within 123 reg so I'll just show you this quickly because as you can see the advanced domain settings if I click manage DNS then we're getting a little bit complex now let's go to advanced DNS and you can see that the web traffic here the A record is being pointed to this particular IP address. Now, this is the IP address of the server in question, but the email, which is the MX records, is being done by 123RED, so any mailboxes are created within their own control panel. But do check out that blog article because it really will explain exactly what you need to do. But that is it. That is how to change the name servers for a domain on 123RED. So now, this particular domain name will be pointing to my server. I can start installing WordPress or doing whatever I want to do, and hey presto.